Hello, everyone. I've had this game Welcome for like a week. Welcome to Project Cars 2. You're about to embark on the ultimate driver journey. This is Race Central, where you'll manage your racing career, create and enter both single player and multiplayer events, get involved with the community, and edit your game settings. Okay, so I've had this game for about a week now, but I've been so busy at work, I haven't been able to touch it. So finally, I can touch it. <laughs> Let's see what's happening here. I am not from this the UK. This is your driver network profile. Here you can view your competitive racing license details, edit your online profile information, and view all your game stats, photos, and videos. Probably gonna have the shittest stats ever. <laughs> Boom, South Africa. Into three characters. Oh, okay. Okay. So what else is here? Okay, obviously I haven't done anything there. Yeah, okay, controls. How the fuck do these brakes work? No, 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 no. Keyboard. Throttle up. Jesus, what cuck is this? Oh my gosh. Seat backward. Oh my fuck. Okay, let's just do some changing here. I don't care about opponents' names. It's automatic, so I don't need to worry. I'm gonna have issues. Fuck me. Talk about bloody controls. Okay, let's see what my graphics is on. Okay, pretty much ultra and everything.
Okay, I'm not gonna change anything there. Hello, puppy. Create your own private testing. Let's just do a custom race. This is where you can either select a car and track before jumping straight into a quick race or set up a customized race weekend. If you're setting up a customized race weekend, you can decide on the skill and number of opponents, as well as set up alternative race settings, session settings, and rules and regulations. To speed up this process, you can also utilize Motorsport Preset to auto configure a number of settings that correspond to your selected preset and then tweak your preferred race weekend from there. Huh. Here's where you choose which car you want to drive. Cars are listed by manufacturer, but you can also choose to list them by car class with the group by option. Alternatively, you can view them alphabetically. Yeah. Subaru, are they yet? Is that fucking Subaru? God damn it. Ferrari F40 Nice Now why not eh? Here's where you choose which track you want to drive Tracks can be viewed either by location with each layout for the selected track displayed separately or alphabetically with all track layouts displayed in a single list Ooh, Indianapolis why not? Ten laps. Race settings is where you configure all the options relating to the main race in your custom event. Everything from race length, the in-game date of the race, start time, time progression, weather settings, type of start, and mandatory pit stop. All of this is decided here. Hmm. Yo, talk about complicated. Start time, night. Speed at which time progresses during the session, real time. I'll make it times two. Weather forecast. Make it lightning and thunder. Come on, why not? So we can make this time or what? Oh, nice. Okay. Opponent settings is where you decide the opponent's skill level as well as the size of the grid, the car class is the opponents will be racing in, and if you're not including a qualifying session, in what position you'll start the race. Yeah, let's do it. Finally, I'm actually playing this game. Thank good golly gosh. It's race time. As you look around the pre-race menu, you'll see a list of all the participants. You'll also be able to view a detailed map of the track by selecting the map icon. If you need to, you can alter your car's setup, as well as pit strategy before the race starts. Yeah, I doubt I'm gonna know anything about cars. So let's just start the race.
No, wait. Keys. Don't figure it. No, fuck that. Uh, keys, keys. Vehicle. Camera and view. Cycle camera E. I'm not doing that, by the way. Oh, look at that graphics. Fucked up, man.
The funny thing is the audio is really high, the mic audio is really high Dave, compared to the game audio, but okay let's turn it down completely, come now, don't fuck up now. Oh, don't tell me it's now gone and done a crashy crash, I think it's crashy crash. Retired to put box. Interesting, the game's crashed. <laughs> I've been running the game for like, what, 10 minutes and it's crashed already. <laughs> let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, there we go. It's like lag or something. But okay, I've dropped the audio on the game and I've pushed the audio up on the mic. Let's just change that a little bit more. Dave, and you must just let me know, please. Fucking s settings. <laughs> Mechanical keyboard, brother. Mechanical keyboard. Try a different view. Okay, this is from within the helmet. Near the window wipers. <laughs> oh, 
Well, two more laps to go. Check the bottom right keyboard. <laughs> I like these settings. Yes, I've tapped the keyboard, so the keyboard icon in the bottom left. Uh oh, uh oh. Whoopsie. <laughs> I seem to be having quite a bit of drop frames. I'm not surprised. Okay, let's change a little bit of a car, do something completely different. BMW? What BMWs do they have? Okay, let's change this by class. Oh, nice. Nice. Okay, select that. Oh wait, I want to see the showroom. I hope you can add deliveries later. This would be really sucky if this is all the liveries you could stay with. Okay, so it's a road E. Okay, let's try something different here. Since my girlfriend's family's there in the Abu Dhabis, let's see if they've got an Abu Dhabi course here. Ooh, Silverstone. Silverstone Classic. Nuremberg Le Mans hmm. Dubai Otterdam There we go, Dubai International No, 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 no No, I don't want rain, thank you I don't want rain How about a nice sunny day 
with uh, Oh, must be a mile when we do 100 laps. Okay, it's 5 laps. Oh, uh, how many players? Uh, how many people are uh, same opponents? Okay, cool. Rules and regulations! Rules and regulations is where you configure the leniency of penalties for the event. And which penalties you wish to have enabled or disabled. Okay, so I'm not doing this. This is all rolling start. Although I'm sure I said no to a rolling start. Okay, not your best start, but let me keep focused and make those places back up. Oi! Pick up speed, bitch! Oh! Stay on the course! Oh! Yo, this car just swings! Tapping on the keyboard and it's going to the left or right. Look at that. Look at that. Yes! Oh, fuck it, how slow do you want to take the turn? Does a lot of sliding. Shut. this again. Yeah, okay. Yo, the car just keeps going. does not return to center when I tap on left or right. Uh -uh. 
I'm sucking at this. down a bit and see if I can get the hang of it. Yes, it's already over. Suck so much. Okay. One more lap after this.
a little better, I guess. Still sucked, but a little bit better. Hmm. You know what? Let's try career mode. Your career begins here. Enter your driver's details, including name, initials, and nationality. South African all the way, boy! Every motorsport hero needs to start somewhere. Where will you begin? This is where you'll need to decide whether you want to begin at the very bottom, in carts, and race your way up through the tiers to the very pinnacle of motorsports in tier one. Or simply jump straight into your favorite motorsport and begin from there. Look, wait, back. Well, let's start at the beginning. you've chosen your motorsport it's time to decide which series you'll start your career in the series structure varies according to which motorsport you chose some offer multiple starting points others have a single one while others will offer just a single series by itself start in the UK now that you've chosen your car it's time to choose your livery the livery you choose will also determine which team you'll be racing for. Tiger Energy. <laughs> oh, fuck it, whatever. final step to launching your motorsport career is this, your first contract. If you're happy with your selections, go ahead and sign. Once you do that, your ultimate driver journey is all set to begin. Remember, you must always read the contract, people. Don't just sign anything. <laughs> Career dashboard is the main hub for managing your career. Under the home tab is everything related to the current course series you're participating in. Here you'll be able to head onto the track for each round, view the event calendar, check emails from your team and others, view your series standings and read news headlines from your prior races. I have new messages. Welcome to the team engineer blah blah blah. Yeah you just sort the card buddy. Earning affinity with specific manufacturers by driving their cars in your career will allow you to unlock manufacturer drives. Invitational events are awarded to you throughout your career progress. There are invitational events for various motorsport disciplines and they can be participated in and replayed anytime, as many times as you want. Here you can view your career's progress. You can also see which trophies and accolades you've won as well as what you have left to accomplish. This is also where you can set the difficulty levels for your opponents in your races. Okay, so it's not hard and it's not easy. I'm happy with that. This is the final review of the round you're about to enter. Here you can configure which sessions you want to participate in, as well as their length. Once you're ready, hit start and get out onto the track. Oh, 
What, Dave? Do you get as well? Huh? Speak English, boy. Knock Hill Racing Circuit. The moment has finally arrived. Your very first career race. Before the race starts, take a moment to make any final adjustments to your vehicle setup, change tires, and finalize any pit strategies. When you're ready, take a deep breath and get onto the track. And good luck out there. Practice is about getting to know your car and getting to know the track. Ultimately, it's about exploring the limits of both you and your car. Once you're comfortable with both, use the session to make adjustments to the car's setup and consider creating a pit strategy ready for the race. You can also try turning the assists, such as traction and stability control, off and on, and feel how they change your car's behavior. Okay, I'll do that now. They are golfs, eh? Oh, so there's my tire temperatures down there. Yeah, we both went out. Damn it, you idiot. I did see Volkswagen, I just haven't looked. Definitely not a race car driver.
getting the hang of every single car you drive in this game. God damn. I suck at this. Much better. Much better. Much better. Okay, let's do one more, see if I can do it better like I did earlier. I was doing well, man. I was doing well. The 
The pit box main menu is where you prepare for the upcoming session. Take the time to edit your car setup, pit strategy, watch other competitors drive, make adjustments to your game options, or just skip the current session altogether. Watch other people drive. Oh, that's nasty. You can watch their speeds. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, I'll come and do it again later. But see what VW's here. Oh, only one. The Polo. WRX. That sucks. That really sucks. No Subaru. Oh, there's a fucking Renault. I mean, jeez. Clear. Uh, there's a Ford. There's Ford. What else? No, I wouldn't die. <laughs> Audi, of course. Always be an Audi. So many cars. None of them grab me. Chevy. Any South African service? Oh, there we go. There's one. Notorious. Oh, wait a minute, you can turn damage on. damage session settings is where you can either enable or disable the practice and or qualifying session for your custom event this is also where you can configure the duration in-game start time time progression and weather settings of both practice and qualifying sessions where do you turn damage on Select from the list to quickly load event settings specific to that motorsport, including race length, number of opponents, and rules and regulations. You can then further fine-tune presets within your race, opponents, and rules and regulations settings.
Hmm. See, Dev. Thanks, dude, for joining. I'm also going to eat the sack soon. Just got to get a nice little game session in here. Considering I freaking hardly stream these days. Let's try this. Just for the hell of it. At least the loading times are not insanely long. This guy behind me. Son of a bitch. Ah! I need to skip the mode and just race. Okay, there we go. So I guess I'm gonna be lost. determines your placement on the starting grid for the race the faster the time you set in qualifying the higher you'll be up on the grid Ugh. this is often the session where your car will be tuned for maximum attack the setup and strategy tab allows you to change the settings on your car go, go, go. what the fuck what the fuck? Go, go, go. Steady on the outlet.
Check this shit. Ah, oh, fuck, you know, it's like you can't race a game anymore. Now it's all this return to position 30. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm definitely have to get the hang of it. Community events are similar to time trial events. Where they differ is that community events enable settings such as a specific car or car class, track, weather setting, or they may even enforce the use of a default setup. Some events, such as eSports community events, may also require a minimum reputation grade and strength to enter. Check the details of currently active, upcoming and finished events for their details and results. I need to spend time getting the hang of this fucking game. No oh, website, no. Nope. 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 Okay, so it does kind of keep your stats. Okay. 
Oh, did it hang now? Oh, okay. Well, that's my like hour and a bit of project cars. So it's clearly like a, a racing game, like a simulation. So you can't just fuck around in it. You need to be serious about it. So I'm going to have to spend some time getting the hang of it. Like I had to spend all that time getting the hang of Project Cars 1. Jeez. But okay. I'm off to bed. I have to work tomorrow. Thanks to the guys who watched. I know I suck at this game. It's all good. It's all good. But uh, I'm happy I've got it. And I'm going to enjoy playing it.